managers, supervisors, county manager, county attorney, and department directors. I would like to bring your attention to a letter addressed to the Santa Fe Ranch POA dated October 6, 2021 from Paul Boffman, flood control engineer. clearly states to fully correct the violation. I bring this to your attention with a passion for truth and accountability today because on October 18th and November 15th, 2021, we had the sitting supervisor, the department director, the Santa Fe POA president, and the POA property manager stating on the record that Santa Fe Ranch POA was never in violation. apparent that either all were misinformed or were being dishonest in the representation of the facts and evidence. Though you may feel an apology is not warranted, I wanted the record to reflect today that the truth is that the Santa Fe Ranch POA was in violation, as I stated on the record on October 18th and November 15th, 2021. As you can see by this letter, they were noticed 12 days prior to the first Board of Supervisors meeting in which you chose to attempt to make me out as a misinformed individual. So we can let the record reflect today that they were in violation and the supervisor, the department director, the Santa Fe Ranch POA board president, Mike Cervillo, along with Melissa Layton, the property manager, all attempted to represent otherwise in an attempt to deceive the audience and members in the forum on October 18th and November 15th, 2021. You may find this as meaningless or pointless. However, I see it as a representation of each of your character and what I consider gross negligence and quite possibly slanderous by attempting to have fellow supervisors and the audience believe I was wrong and misrepresenting the facts and evidence. Needless to say, I certainly expected the Santa Fe Ranch POA board president and the deceit to be deceitful, along with the property manager. But what I didn't expect was for a sitting supervisor and a department director to misrepresent the facts and evidence. So today, we will let the record reflect that the truth, as it was written on October 6, 2021, that in fact, the Santa Fe Ranch POA was in violation of the floodplain and grading ordinance dating back to 2009. And in fact, they were required to correct the violation by obtaining a floodplain use permit. Thank you.